This is Brian Broussard who's going to lead things off. New Orleans native and a wave and a miss. He had a huge whiff rate on his slider almost 50 percent last year. May have thrown it there a chopper to first. Austin so far off the bag and he can't get there. And Broussard reaches. Austin plays so many different positions. He's played five different this year. Pastor a couple of runs batted in this season. Ground ball to short should be two. There's Vastine flips to second on to first with a double play to end the inning. A pressure formal to take him time to settle in in the first inning. 3-2 is on the corner. Strikes out the first batter he faces today as Humphreys rung up. Lineup changing, but he's always in there somewhere, and he's usually on base as he'll single into center field right over second base. Hit number 15 for R.J. Austin. Next pitch. Cut on and missed. Koshal down on strikes. Two gone in the inning. 371 batting average. First pitch hacking high pop-up. Taylor on the edge of the outfield grass will put it away and in the inning. So each team got a hit in what was a scoreless first. Fans home happy. They went Chase Moore. Last year we heard about his home run prowess. We saw it today. There's a bunt from the cleanup hitter Stelly, and he's retired. Espinal pounces on that ball quickly. The LSU fans were coming in before game one ended, hoping to get their seats for game three as war goes wrong up on strikes. The only problem is they had to wait for game two to get underway. And lefty lefty matchup, and that one is at a mile in the air on the left side of the infield. Shortstop Vastine underneath it. He'll make the catch and Carter Holton put forth a really quick and perfect top of the second. 2 2 is cut on a missed. Just a really good approach, a mature approach. Saw flair out there in the shadow left. The shift worked perfectly. So far, Holton has uh, been everything we thought he would be. Just great command. And I think that hit Storbach and out in front of the plate, did it not? He yep. did. He's Dead out. Ball. Yeah. Any question about whether he's in the box or not? I thought he might have been out of the box when it hit him. Hey, yep. see so he is contact out. Contact with him, so he's out. Here's the 2-2. Wave and a miss. Takes a little effort to throw the ball around the horn after a strikeout and get everybody back to their positions with the timer here in the cage in third inning. Boy, that is an upright stance. Crown ball shot to second. It takes a chunk out of Davis, plays the carom, and then throws out to Uhas. There was some positioning <laughs> right there with Davis. Oh, man. Perfectly <laughs> positioned. Might be a little more difficult on your path. Chopper to third. Pastor will charge and throw, and that's three ground ball outs to Cruz through this bottom of the third inning. Three and one to DeBarge, and there's a base runner for the Cajuns, a one-out walk. So that was a streak of nine straight set down by Holton at ends. Hit 346 at Nova last season. That ball laced towards the Crawford boxes, high up off the wall. Leneve will play it, and DeBarge will hold it third on a double from Pastor. He missed by a couple of feet of getting one up and out. Yeah, one of the few mistakes we've seen Holt make out over the plate. Up the middle and cut off by Davis. Will he get the out at first? He does. What a play. DeBarge scores. And Louisiana strikes first. Wow. What a play by Davis. Man. I thought he was out. I thought it was going to hit second base. <laughs> and let's take a look as we slow this one down I think he's out yeah there's Stelly standing on top of first base this is probably the better angle see he's not able to extend right now and I don't know on that one. yeah <laughs> I don't know yeah it looks different there judging by that second view that we had Brett I don't know if they can overturn that what's the call safe at first safe. Wow. safety squeeze again should produce a run the flip was high and it rolls over near the camera well. A throw to second base might have a chance to get Wargo, and he is out. But the Cajuns have a 2-0 lead on the safety squeeze bunt. And Stelly advances to third. Well done. Yeah, the play by Carter Holton may have been better off just holding that ball and not trying to flip it with his glove during Tim Corbin's tenure. 2-2 is the ground ball back to the mound. Holton misdirected it. And another run will come across on the base hit from Taylor. It's a three-run inning. And two of the three hits have been infield singles for the Cajuns. 
tough pitch to swing at and. And you see Holton kind of puts himself in a tough position to field it. Holton's next one elevated gets the wave of the miss and that will end the fourth inning that the veterans bring up just because it might be the last run or a last chance for you. He's trying to continue this fourth inning. Waiting on a 2 1 pitch here it comes and that one clipped him and he's on base. The glue the thread that makes it all work. A couple of wild pitches from Longevin. Say so. Yeah. Course of that game it's it's ice in those hands. And that's ball four. So a two out hit batter and a two out walk and the doors will bring the tying run to the plate. Looking towards the dugout. Not that pitch. Oh goodness. He just hit Leneve and that's three free base runners for the Commodores to load him up. Lying to short in his only at bat. May ground to short here. DeBarge with a flip to second and the Commodores leave the bases loaded. Yeah he is uh, made the shift. In the outfield. I mean, he mentioned to us, and that is going to be strike three. You Haas down looking. Three straight strikeouts, now five overall for Carter Holton. Can Holton strike out the side? Yes, sir. Pat, how about that inning for Holton? Yeah, impressive. Four straight strikeouts for Holton, and that slider's working. And it's a wonder I left either place because uh, <laughs> there's something else. That's strike three. Hewitt down looking. Langevin. When he was uh, really just one of the strong defensive players. But. Down the line and left, and that is a fair ball. Higgs can't come up with it. Vastine will cruise into second base with a one out double. Here in the bottom of the fifth. And the 2 2 is cut on and missed. That's five strikeouts for Langevin. Sure looked like a fastball coming out of his hand. R.J. Austin blisters one into left for a base hit. This will put the Commodores on the board. Fastine comes across with their first run. It's a 3-1 game. Austin's second into the contest for the doors and a little bit of uh, some high-fiving going on in that Vanderbilt dugout. Austin a little out in front of it, but nicely done. Keeps, keeps his hands back and drives that ball in left field. He'll pick up the RBI single and Vanderbilt on the board for the first time, still down by two. Huge lead for Austin at first. Not going against the lefty. That one is rope fair down the line and right. Let's see if Austin might be able to score. Juhas comes up with the baseball. Austin easily cruises around all the way from first. It's a one run game on the double from Kozil. And I'll close the book on Langevin. He'll give up the two earned runs. Four and two thirds innings. Espinal rolls one up the middle. How about Taylor's positioning behind the bag at second and throws out Espinal. You couldn't do that in the big leagues. You can still in college baseball and it helps save a run. Struck out five. Hard hit on the ground to short. Vastine there gobbles it up. Slings one to first a little bit high. Austin could not hold on and DeBarge will reach on the E6 to begin the sixth. Walked only 11 so. There's been improvement there with the command. Runner going, but that's ball four. Hard hit, could be two. Fitted by Davis, an easy out, an easy double play. How about that turn on a rocket off the bat of Orgo? You can kind of combine both. Yep. Yeah, I think that is. That's exactly we right. We need a yeah. outside hitter in volleyball. Ground ball to the left side, and that was cut off by DeBar. She throws to second. He gets tackled by Leneve. And Leneve is going to be called out for steamrolling Taylor. Yep. And here comes Tim Corbin. Remember, he can't cross the baseline. He was on a sprint. And Big Joe Harris said, not so fast. He'll come to you. It wasn't the slide. Oh, he just bumped into him on the run. OK, gotcha. <laughs> out is the call. Now Tim Corbin's out again. Remember, Todd Whitting got thrown out already yep. earlier today. And Tim Corbin's been out there once. Short in this contest. That ball hit well. Left center and deep. Back to the wall and it's off the screen in front of the bullpen. It'll score Diaz to tie the game on a triple. And we're even at three. A lengthy at bat won by Hewitt. And a brand new ball game at Minimade. Then catches the slider kind of stayed up in the zone for him but man he barrels up the slider right below the Papa John sign out in left center. 
And it's an arcade out there in left center. You're never sure what type of bounce you're going to get. It has a plus changeup to go with it. Go ahead, run at third, and Vastein will stroke one to center, but right at Broussard to end the inning. That is in <laughs> doubt, serious doubt. First game went extra innings in about three and a half hours. That, wow, just looked like it was up and away, but called a strike. Big man's pumping some heat. Off the leg of Carter, fielded by Davis. And his throw to first is not in time. Speaking of a pinball machine. <laughs> Strike three call. Had a 2.12 earned run average in 51 innings. 81 strikeouts last season. Austin strokes one almost straight away center, but Alexander is way over in the gap. Austin's going to try for two. He fell down, but he's still going to make it. Wow. That's a fortuitous double. Vandy has never led in this game. Vandy might just have a lead in this game. Austin to third, he'll be held. A one hop strike coming in from Broussard. Koshel's not attempted to steal, but he is going to run. That ball's club to left towards the Crawford boxes. Goodbye. A three run laser beam for Espinal. And not only do the Commodores have their first lead, it's a 6 3 contest. That ball got out of here in a blink of an eye. Boy, did it ever. That got out of here quick. No doubt about it. I'd like to see an exit velo on that swing. Man. That had to be 115 off the bat at least. That was full extension. Just a ton of bat speed from Espinal. And he knew when he made contact. I hope everybody's okay in the Crawford boxes. <laughs> that thing was With a this laser. Thing coming, then you got to play it <laughs> off some bricks. Oh, man. Has a count of one and two. Well, that was nasty. Strike three call. Three infielders on the right side of the diamond. None will be needed. That's a wave and a miss. So Martinez did strike out three. But he gave up three on one big swing from Espinal. New game as we go to the eighth. Every arm that Vanderbilt has is like 95 plus. <laughs> that's not the case, but it sure feels like it. I think he was, yeah. I mean, that was that was a lot of velo back in the day. That's that's when only one or two people in the league were throwing 99. That's right. Long pause before the two strike pitch, and that is painted. 100 MPH for strike three. Davis Diaz in. Shift on that ball blistered or rather deep left center field. This ball has a chance to go all the way to the advertising. Diaz is not going to stop at second. Now he'll slam on the brakes after rounding and holding with the leadoff double. Been able to get all the way to the fence. And an advancement and an overthrow. Wargo let one go too high. And Diaz will trot around and score an insurance run for Vandy. Can't make mistakes over the plate with that pitch. And ball four. Off and going is Hewitt. Flipping the script on this Louisiana team in terms of stolen bases from last season. That's a wave and a miss. Should be the second out. Was the tag applied? I think it was. Runners go. Pitch in there for a strike. Maybe anticipating the same thing, Pat. Slider, breaking ball, and they just took off and got a great break. Well, they're going to intentionally walk Austin. Yeah, the athleticism takes over, and that's what we've seen in this game, especially in that ball plunks him in the in the hip. Heard that one all the way up here. Yeah. It's, uh, whoa. To the backstop, but the Kara might have a chance to lock up the base runner, Hewitt. High throw, almost got him back in this fight, and the pitcher just got rolled. And one way or another, that's going to be an out. Vendino got taken for a ride, but the out was recorded. Cajuns would like a base runner, and they get one via the walk to begin the ninth inning. About to be thrown by Carter. That's a bunt, a good one. Diaz will field and throw. Close but safe. It's going to be loud. Very shallow center. This is a long run for Hewitt. How about that diving catch? Wow. Hewitt just took a first step in and bolted. Turned on the afterburners. Big pitch, though. And it's ball four, and the tying run will come to the plate. Little Fister. Is this in no man's land? Someone's got to cover. Another infield base hit. It's a 7-4 game. 1-2 pitch. 
On the outside corner, strike three to Broussard. High in the air to left center, and it should be playable. Fans rooting with their hearts. Hewitt's there. He's got it. The Commodores hang on and win it 7-4. to four.